guys good morning welcome back to my channel happy sunday i literally just woke up so i'm looking a little bit rough but yeah i don't usually vlog on the weekends i usually just stick with my like week in my life things but i thought we would try something different and do a sort of productive sunday vlog because i have a lot that i have to get done today so i thought it'd be fun to kind of show you what i do on the weekends to get ready for the week sundays are for sure my productive day that's when i try and get a lot of stuff done and like i said just get ready for the week and kind of reset especially because next week is midterm for me so I have a lot to do today I just did a little bit of yoga to wake up this morning and I'm about to go make some breakfast but I made my to-do list last night for today it's here in my journal so this is all the stuff we got to get done today I have an essay I need to write I want to do some laundry I want to wash my sheets and my towels and stuff I want to vacuum my room, study for my midterm, I want to go for a run and do abs today. I have a couple of people I need to email, I have to post a video today, and then I have a list of things that I can do if I have time for them, but they're not like priority because they're not due till Tuesday or Thursday. And that's just a couple of homework assignments and then some readings for work. I realize that might be confusing because I call my internship work, but it's a different thing. So I have my internship, but then I also work for a different online literary magazine and I'm a reader for them so I read their submissions for poetry, fiction, nonfiction, me along with like I don't know, there's like 15 other readers and then we have like meetings to discuss all of the submissions and we figure out what we're gonna publish that month and I think I was assigned like 36 submissions to read and like sift through and figure out which ones were my favorite it's like there's a lot of submissions so I've already started that but I need to finish reading those because our meeting is on Friday, so I have to send in my recommendations by Thursday. So yeah, today's gonna be a busy day, hopefully productive. So let's just go make some breakfast. So for breakfast, I'm having a sort of weird assortment, I'm having a little bit of tofu scramble, which I'm gonna put some ketchup on. Got some apple slices with some almond butter and then two slices of toast, one with strawberry jam and one with some almond butter on it. And I'm just gonna eat this while I watch the news. So it's about nine o'clock now, but since it's Sunday, our gym doesn't open until um, 11. So I guess I'm gonna see how much work I can get done in the next two hours. So I'm gonna start writing my essay because that's due tomorrow. So I have to finish that today. my hair oh my god we have a solid start but i'm already losing steam so i'm gonna make some coffee i think i'm a little confused on what season we're in the essay is going pretty well so far i decided to focus on talking about um relative deprivation i don't know why i just said that like that but like relative deprivation in regards to the technology revolution and immigration, which is actually a really interesting idea. You should look it up if you are curious. I think it's very interesting. I'm just not in the mood to write this paper right now. My essay is going really well. I'm actually almost done with it. It's about 10 o'clock, but I just went to check on how my video was doing because I posted it earlier this morning. And it's my um, Ask Me Anything episode too about birth control. And some of you guys have just left like such positive and kind comments on there. And it like almost made me like tear up. You guys are always so nice. And I just want you to know that those comments always make a difference in my day. Okay, it's about 10.30 and I just finished the rough draft of my paper. My hair is driving me nuts right now, but it like doesn't make sense to wash it or put like dry shampoo in it because I'm going to go for a run in like 30 minutes and just sweat all over it. It's raining. All right, it's 11 o'clock, so it's time to go to the gym. I'm just trying to get my shoes on. I am, this is so dark. I am so sore from my leg workout i guess it was on friday so i don't know how this is gonna go because i just wanted to run today so i guess i'll go there and i'm gonna foam roll like my hamstrings and stuff before i start because i can't even move and then we'll do some like incline walks just to warm up and then i'm just gonna like jog at like a pretty easy pace nothing too crazy today and then probably do like an ab circuit at the end of it
So I just got back from the gym and got out of the shower. The gym went really well. I literally just spent like 40 or 45 minutes on the treadmill and then did like 10 minutes of abs and then did a lot of stretching because I was so sore. I like to kind of do my weightlifting sessions during the week and then just do cardio on the weekends because I'm like so sore from the week that I can't do anything else. But yeah, it's about 12.45 now, so I need to get back to work. I think what I'm gonna do is read five submissions for the literary magazine thing and that's what I'm gonna like do for the rest of the day, like every couple of hours in increments of five, work my way through the submissions. And I guess I'll go check on the laundry room to see if there's any open washers so I can just throw my stuff in there. So all of the washers were full as usual. There's only three washers and three dryers on this entire floor. And I wanna say at least like 50 people live on this floor. So getting in there, especially on the weekends is really possible. But yeah, it's like one o'clock. So I'm kind of hungry. I think I might heat up. Um, me and a friend ordered a vegan pizza to split yesterday and I have a couple of pieces left over so I might just heat that up for lunch. But yeah, looking at my to-do list for the day, honestly, the most pressing thing is for me to study for that midterm, but I really don't wanna do that. I'm just like not ready to do that yet. How amazing does this look? So I've gotten a little sidetracked and I'm right now applying for jobs and searching for jobs and stuff for after I graduate. Because the closer we get, the more stressed out I get about not having a solid plan for what I'm gonna do when I graduate. So I feel like this is like a productive distraction. Not whatever, obviously. So it's like a lot later. It's like after three, I ended up getting like sucked into job applications and applying for jobs for like three hours. And I FaceTimed my mom and booked a flight to go home for spring break. I have a couple of like appointments and I just really wanna see my dogs. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to that. I'm not super happy about the $600 I just spent on that plane ticket. But yeah, now my eyes hurt and my brain hurts from so many job applications. So I think I'm gonna take a brief break and then we will get back into my to-do list. I think I might like vacuum and stuff because that doesn't really require any brain power. But then I really do need to get a jump on studying for that midterm. I've already started, but I need to do more obviously. It is now six o'clock, so that means my break time is officially over. I'm about to run to the dining hall to get dinner with one of my friends. I actually did get some of my studying for my midterm done. I'm almost done filling out the study guide, which is really, really good. That midterm is on Wednesday. But yeah, when I get back from dinner, it'll be time to crack back down on the work. So I've made good progress. It's 7.40 and I've been filling out the study guide and I have something down for everything. There's like a couple of areas that I need to expand on, but I have something for everything. So that's good. But honestly, I'm just so sick of looking at stuff for this class because this test that I'm studying for is the same class that I was writing that essay for. So I've just been working on stuff for this class like all day and I'm just so tired of it. So I have some homework for my advanced grammar and style class. So I think I'm gonna pull that up and start working on that while I watch a Shane Dawson video. I don't know why, I've just been on like a kick of watching his videos lately. But yeah, the grammar homework is usually not super difficult. Like I don't really have to focus while I'm doing it. I tend to like watch TV while I'm doing it. So I think that'll be a good like kind of a break, but I'm still being productive, you know? It's almost eight o'clock. So I definitely wanna keep working at least until 8.30. So I think I'm gonna end the vlog here because I think the rest of tonight is gonna be pretty much more of the same. But anyway, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Let me know what you thought of the Sunday vlog down in the comments, if I should do these more often, if I should do just like single day ones instead of just the weekly ones all the time. I would just love to hear your feedback. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. If you wanna check out any of my past vlogs, I'll have the playlist linked down below in the description. If you're not already, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. I put up at least two new videos every single week and I put up at least one vlog every single week. And I will just see you in my next video very very soon
Bye. So hit me. So hit me. So hit me. First a confession. With you, I feel a connection. With you, it's.